Hello, this is Dr. Matthew O'Brien. I am not a medical doctor. I have a PhD in applied mathematics and I sit in front of a computer, program a computer all day long. And I have some good news about the coronavirus for the USA. And I've been running the analysis for a bunch of the other countries and I was kind of happy getting good news after good news until I just ran uh, Japan Japan is on a, a different trajectory. Like when you initially look at the data, it looks really good. Like they're much lower than everybody else. But then my predictions for Japan were coming in kind of high. Um, but there's some caveats to that. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me, let me show you what I did. Um, a, a good model for the growth of viruses the number of people in your population that have the, have the virus is called a logistic function, which is a function that kind of starts off exponentially and then it kind of rolls over and asymptotes. So several years ago, I was having friends with my, I was having fun with my friends on Facebook saying how many people are gonna say happy birthday to me. And I ended up writing all this uh, regression software to fit the data to a regression function. So I had, I had this uh, fitter sitting there to do, and kind of a pretty cool analysis, I'll go through it. I had this data, this software sitting there in Python. So I'm watching the um, three blue, one brown uh, video where he's talking about exponential growth and logistic functions about the coronavirus. And I said, oh my God, I've got this um, logistic function fitter in Python that I've written just sitting there, let me go and collect the data on the, the number of US cases of coronavirus as a function of time and just fit a logistic function to it and, and see what my program says. So I've done that for the USA and I've done it for several other countries and I'll show them. First, let's talk about the USA. Okay guys, I've been coding this up in Python. It's like almost 2 a.m. But here's the good news. Um, here's what we are today, March 15th. This blue noisy thing is, is the data. And then I fit some logistic functions to it. So the good news is that according to this fit, it's kind of rolling over. This is the number of coronavirus cases in the USA versus the day in March. Of course, there aren't 40 days in March, but whatever. This you can. I didn't... Uh, rescale this to to April or whatever but but it's asymptoting in the in the 4000 regime now I have these different fits here it turns out um, when you're doing linear regression uh, f for a logistic function you can only do the linear regression if you know the asymptotic value ahead of time so what I'm doing is I'm solving an optimization problem to find the best asymptotic value to minimize the error of here. Here's where we have the data. So I'm minimizing the error um, for several different error metrics. The standard error metric is like an L2 error metric, but I'm also finding the L1, L3, and L infinity error metrics. So depending on how you define your error, you get these four different curves, but in any case, they're fairly consistent saying that we're going to asymptote at around, you know, four or 5,000 cases, which is really good. So that's the good news. So then I said, okay, let me run this same thing. Well, well, why should we believe this? There's a whole lot of caveats with this. This is just curve fitting, but it is saying that, you know, we, we're, we're no longer in really the steep exponential part. We're in the sort of rollover part which is great news for the United States of America. It, it's probably partially due to our behavior. You know, we're not um, going around and, and meeting each other in large groups and everything. So we need to continue that behavior so this, this fit holds up. But I'm, but I'm presenting you good news. Okay, here's the source of my data. This um, Financial Times website has this article where they're tracking... Here's the number of days since the 100th case. So day zero is all the countries, you know, have, have made it to 100 case, cases. And then we're saying, okay, what's going to happen? So I'm t I took this data for the USA, and then what I was showing you before was an extrapolation, like what's going to happen. 
I should also say that Financial Times um, article is referring back to the Johns Hopkins uh, kind of coronavirus command center. So that's where the data is coming from. And then I'm just extrapolating that data. I'm curve fitting. So there's all sorts of caveats with that curve fitting, but it, it looks optimistic for the United States. So this is using all of the South Korea data. Again, the data ends today on March 15th. And this looks like a fairly good fit. So the logistics curves are saying South Korea is sort of pretty much asymptoted around 8,000 cases and they're, they're sort of in really good shape. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, hold back data. Instead of using all of this data, this is, you know, they've got uh, like 25 days worth of data. I'm only gonna use um, 11 days worth of data or 15, or I'm gonna hold back some data and see how well the prediction does. So here I held back data. See now it's not going back to negative 10 and it, it's it's still saying around 8,000 cases. So it's, it's fairly self-consistent for the South Korea data. So South Korea is in good shape. Now let's look at this for Italy. So here we have all this data for Italy up to March 15th, that's the blue curve. And then we have these four logistic fits. So Italy looks like they're currently at about 25,000 or so. And this is saying it's going to asymptote at around 40,000. So Italy, it looks like you're on the rolling over portion of it. It looks like the, the exponential part is over. So that's, that's my best prediction of what's going to happen. Of course, this comes with a lot of caveats, but looks like we're, you're on the shallow side of the curve but but you know that does also mean there'll be 15,000 more cases but the asymptote looks like in in two weeks it'll sort of asymptote out for Italy now let's look at Iran again today is March 15th at like 15,000 cases give or take this thing is, is saying it's, it's kind of asymptoted over, but I don't know. This somehow doesn't look quite right. This kind of looks like it's still climbing, but then the prediction is saying it's going to roll over. So I don't quite know what to make of that, but this is what the linear regression fit is telling us. Hopefully Iran is in for some asymptotic behavior pretty soon. Hopefully this model's right for you guys. Now let's look at Spain. Here we are, March 15th, the blue curve is the actual data, and now we're seeing the four logistic fits. Now we see quite a bit of spread, depending on how we measure the error for the regression. Um, anywhere from, what, uh, 11,000 to 22,000. Wow, that's quite a big spread, but in any case, it looks, again, like in, in about two weeks, it, it will have asymptoted. So Spain, that's, that's what this particular curve fitting model is predicting for you guys. But I guess the good news is things will have asymptoted in about two more weeks. So, you know, keep avoiding, keep all the best practices for coronavirus, you know, not gathering and so on. Just about two more weeks and we should be in pretty good shape. Here's a prediction for China. Here we are today, March 15th, and the blue is the data and the other curves are the fits. So looks like they're very close to the asymptotic regime. Um, keep doing what you're doing in China. You, uh, looks like you guys are about to saturate at a little under 70,000. So let's hope this model is correct for you, China. I was just working on Japan here, getting the Japan data, and we can see they're following a much lower trajectory. So I was thinking that was gonna be a great success story. So then I entered in the data and I started getting sick to my stomach. Uh, Um, <clears throat> here's the Japan data. Today, today is uh, March 
15th. The data ends there, and I was like, oh, great. I was thinking Japan was going to have a really known number, but this effing model <clears throat> is saying I kept having to increase the x-axis it wasn't asymptoting so this thing is saying like six or seven thousand people are going to get the thing in japan but the only comfort i can say is these logistic fits are not very good at all when you're in the early portion so luckily for japan they're in the early portion so I, let's just put not not too much credibility in this prediction because we're in the early portion. I've seen this a lot when you only have early data and when it hasn't started to roll over when you're in the exponential part of the logistic function, you don't you can't really make good predictions about the asymptote. So I'm hoping these 7,000 cases for Japan is inaccurate. Okay, so for the US, it's good news. We're currently at about 3,100 cases, and um, the FIT says we should asymptote at about 4,500 cases, so that's good news. And here's the summary for the other countries. I put an asterisk next, next to Iran because something didn't look quite right. Maybe they changed how they were reporting their data. There's some kind of weird discontinuity in there where I, I, ha I have this fear that Maybe the prediction is a little bit under predicting. And then for Japan, I have a double asterisk. Let's, let's hope it's over predicting in that case, because uh, Japan still is in the exponential regime, but it's at a much, much slower rate. So the logistic function fitter uh, doesn't do a good job in that regime. But in any case, that's where we are. Um, I'd, I'd love to collaborate with other people, work on this, um, make this available to for other people to enhance and use and do it for the other countries. I just focused on the countries that, that had um, lots of cases and lots of data. And that's where we are. And I guess the other thing is just because we're asymptoting doesn't mean that we can go back to business as usual. I guess I'll uh, leave that for the um, biology experts and the doctors. I guess a uh, part of the success is due to our behavior. So if we change our behavior, uh, then the model breaks down also. And good night. I made it to 3 a.m. Good night.